Summer is a busy time on the island of Sodor. Holidaymakers have so much to see and do. There are trips to the seaside, balloon rides in the country, and a brass band playing. One morning, Edward was in a hurry. He didn't even stop to say hello to Stepney. Thomas was pleased to see Edward. Your smile's as broad as your smoke box. I'm on my way to pick up the brass band, replied Edward. The concert is tomorrow night. Don't crack your smoke box, teased Thomas. Edward couldn't wait to hear the brass band play their wonderful music. He was so excited about meeting the brass band that he didn't notice the giant crane. It was unloading a huge ship's boiler. Suddenly, the crane swung the boiler and knocked Edward right off the track. Cranky had been watching. You useless little engines are always in the way. Poor Edward. The fat controller came immediately. We will take you to the fitter's yard and Bertie will have to meet the brass band instead of you. Edward was sad. That night, a raging storm rolled in. The fitters worked through the night trying to mend Edward. The rain pelted down. Now Edward felt sad and very damp. Morning came and the fat controller arrived. Please, sir, pleaded Edward. Will the fitters be finished soon? Not soon enough and the band can't wait. I'm sorry, Edward. Bertie will take them to the concert. Edward felt worse than ever. Bertie collected the brass band and set off immediately. He bumped cheerfully along the country roads. But there was trouble ahead. Last night's storm had flooded the road. Bertie's driver decided to take a shortcut. But it was very muddy. Bertie's wheels did not like the mud. They scooted, they skated, they slid, they slipped. I'm stuck, he groaned. Bertie revved his engine, but his wheels spun round and round. He couldn't budge. The brass band were worried. We mustn't be late for our concert. Tune up your tuba, cried the leader of the band. We'll call for help. By now, Edward was mended and hooked up to his coaches. I can hear music, said his driver. That's not music, wished Edward. That's an alarm. And they raced off to the rescue. The musicians were delighted to see their old friend. So was Bertie. I'll get you to the concert in time, Edward cried. Thank you, said the worried bandsman. <laughs> that night, the concert was a great success. Everyone loved the music. Especially Edward. <laughs>